Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and installing this wood miser slab miser. It's the MB200 slab flattening mill. We're gonna take it off the truck, get it installed in the place that we're gonna put it up under the barn, and we're gonna put it all together. So yesterday, Dad and I left at 1 a.m. and we drove up to Noonan, Georgia, to the southeastern United States wood miser location. It was a pretty long drive. It took us seven hours to get there from where we live here in Plant City, Florida. It was a nice drive heading up through central Georgia and we got to the Woodmiser location around 9 a.m. when they opened. That was our first time going to a Woodmiser location and it was really cool to see all the different machines inside the factory, meet all the people and just see where these amazing Woodmiser machines are coming from. So that Woodmiser location is the closest one to us in the southeastern United States. So that seven hour drive Seemed kind of far, but it was pretty cool because we got to drive through all of our old stomping grounds where when I was a kid, we used to head up to Georgia in that area and go hunting. So it was pretty cool to see all that again. We hadn't been there in 12 years and it brought back all kinds of old memories of hunting with my dad and our buddies. So after we got loaded up yesterday morning, we began heading back home and we stopped at a nice little country store on the way back. And then we made it back here to the house around 5 p.m. last night. So the goal of this video today is to get this slab miser unboxed, assemble it all together, hopefully we'll get it up and running, and then at the end of the video, maybe we'll be able to test our first piece on it. All right, we're gonna get that slab miser unloaded from the truck, and we're gonna be putting it together and installing it in this area. We went back and forth on whether we should do it horizontally with the barn or vertically, and what we came to was that we're gonna put it vertically centered on the door and basically the machine is gonna end up being 13 feet long. So we'll probably start it about four or five feet off the door and come all the way out here. By doing it that way, it's gonna put it in here away from the weather. Like when it rains, sometimes that rain starts blowing in from out there at the end of the barn. But if we get it set up here, We'll be able to come in from this side. We'll be able to drive in with the tractor on this side and we'll be able to take the slabs and put them on the mill. So we spent about 20 minutes this morning cleaning this entire area out. And it's nice to do that sometimes because it really shows us how much space we have here to work with. Uh, over time, as everybody knows watching this, when you have a wood shop, things begin to clutter up and you gotta take a day and just do a good cleaning and just organize everything and really open up your space again. So we're gonna jump on the tractor, we're gonna get the slab miser off the truck, we'll put it in here and we'll begin assembling it.
So we've completed the setup of the slab miser. It took us all day. We started at 8 a.m. It's 4 p.m. right now. Everything behind me is complete except for the electrical. We were kind of hoping that this thing would have like an extension cord, like a 220 extension cord that we'd be able to just plug in and start using it today. But it actually has to be hardwired into the electrical here at the shop. So we're gonna have the electrician come out in the next couple days. Hopefully he'll get it hooked up soon and we'll be able to use it. In this video though, we won't be able to test it out and show you guys how it works on a slab, but it'll give you a reason to come back to the channel and look at one of our future videos where you'll see us using this machine. Before this video is over, I'm gonna walk you around the machine, kind of tell you a little bit about it. So we're sitting at 13 feet long. So we can cut slabs or flatten slabs up to about 12, 12 and a half feet. Um, we're not gonna be able to use the full 13 foot bed, but it is nice because most of the slabs that we're gonna be flattened are gonna be about eight foot, six to eight feet, maybe even a 10 footer. So we opted for the wider version. So we're looking at 72 inches wide. This typically comes, I think 52 or 58 inches wide, but we opted to go bigger and we bumped it up to the 72 inches wide. Will we ever have slabs that big? Who knows? But what's cool is we can put two 30 inch slabs side by side and flatten them all at the same time. So the 72 inch width is really, really nice. We're looking at 30 inches or so on the height of the bed. Um, that's pretty good for working. So like if you have your slab on here, you can lean over, work on it. So nice height on the bed. Uh, back here, we've got the power feed. So if you wanted to buy this thing by itself, you could just run it manually. Um, there is a handle that is up here and there's a handle here and you could push this thing back and forth by yourself if you wanted to. We opted for the power feed, which is this really nice magnetic box here. It's got a joystick, so like, and it's got a really long, probably 20, 30 foot uh, cord there. So I could walk wherever I want and basically run this thing like a little game station controlling this thing back and forth. What we also upgraded was the automatic power feed. So if you come back here, this is another upgrade that we got, which is the automatic feed. Um, it's really nice, Woodmiser installed this already. So looking at the instructions, it looks pretty scary trying to figure out how to install this because the inside of this thing is very, very overwhelming unless you're an electrician. So thank goodness Woodmiser installed all this stuff and it looks all ready to go. I think the only thing that we're gonna have to do in here is get the electrician to run the power to it. Other than that, I think it's good to go. We're gonna have to read up on the instructions and watch some videos on how to use this automatic feed. Um, there's something to do with some magnets that we need to put out on the table and the the mill is set up with some sensors that will go and bump into those magnets or bump into the metal and it'll sense where to stop um, it's supposed to be some pretty smart technology but we don't know anything about it yet so i'm not going to talk about it um, back here in the back of the mill we've got the control unit in there we've got our belt in here um, both sides have chains the chains took us forever to install and not only that, once we installed one of the sides, we realized we installed it backwards. Yes, there is a way, there is one way that these chains go. Um, I'll show you a close up or I'll, I'll probably talked about it already, but when you're installing the chains on this thing, have a second person, even a third person would really help and make sure you're putting them on the right way. Over here on this side of the mill, we've got our dust collection set up. So, it's really nice. The, the mill comes with this swinging arm that you just attach your dust collection. It does not come with dust collection or the tubing or anything. We had bought this dust collector for the purposes of dedicating it to this slab miser. So from now on, this Grizzly dust collector is gonna live with the slab miser, um, but that way we'll be able to keep a nice clean area. It'll always have dust collection hooked up, but this swinging arm is really nice. It's a good design. Woodmiser you did a good job creating that. So as the mill works its way up and down the bed, this dust collection will work its way around with it, keeping everything dust free. On the bed, we've got four of these clamp downs. Um, basically, you just loosen the bottom, slide it up to your slab, 
and then clamp, clamp down the slab or that way it holds it nice and firm to the bed. So that's a good little design there. So around here on the front of the slab miser, we've got the motor with the cutting head. This cutting head has five four-sided carbide knives. Um, it's really nice, so when they dole themselves down, we can just get in there, unscrew it, rotate it to the next side, and tighten it back down. So we'll be able to use these carbide knives four times before having to replace them. Until we get this thing up and running, I don't know much more about it. I'm gonna do some research to try and figure out all the details behind it. But if you guys are interested in seeing all the specs and details, I'm gonna put a link to this machine in the description below. Head over to Woodmiser's site. You can read all the description, all the specs and details of this machine, the horsepower, the motor, everything. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. It was a long one. Like I said, it took us all day putting this thing together and we were really looking forward to testing it out. You'll just have to check back again in the future on one of our next videos to see us using it. But uh, very impressive. It's a very, very heavy machine, like extremely heavy. And I kind of tweaked my back moving it today. So any advice that I would have moving forward is if you're gonna put this thing together, get at least three or four buddies to help you. Um, also, it would have been really nice for Woodmiser to kind of walk us through or tell us how to put this thing together. The instructions aren't the best. Um, I wish there was some videos or some kind of instructions that better helped us put this thing together. The instructions were pretty vague. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Moving forward, if you have any tips for us about this machine, if you have any knowledge about slab flattening, anything at all that could help us, drop it in the comment section below. We don't always get to reply to the comments, but I read a lot, pretty much 99% of the comments. So we really appreciate you guys always commenting. Like I said, drop a comment below if you have any tips for this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all of our future videos. We'll see you on the next one.